We are going to explore what Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World is like at Christmas. We will be exploring the Christmas decorations. Just look at that. So pretty. Try delicious foods and see if there are any Christmas Disney themed snacks, as well as go on a mission to ride all the main attractions without Genie Plus or Lightning Lanes, despite being a completely sold out park day in Hollywood Studios. Let's see how we get on. Let's go, shall we? Hello guys, so today I'm very excited because we're heading to Hollywood Studios and in my opinion, Hollywood Studios is one of the best dress park for Christmas. So on the agenda today, we want to see all the Christmas decorations in Hollywood Studios and we also want to see if there's any cute Christmas merch. We also want to see if there's any cute delicious Christmas Disney snacks. And we're also wanting to ride some rides and finish the night up watching Fantasmic because Dean, my husband, has actually never seen Fantasmic when it's been kind of redone and also we need to fuel up on some coffee so we'll head straight to Starbucks and we'll head straight down that Hollywood Boulevard and see what it's all like so let's go to Hollywood Studios together shall we? This time last year On this certain frosty holiday Filled with cheer I hope we never change The plans that we arranged Hey, how about we stay? Let's do Christmas by the fire All of us together here tonight our friends and family, oh, what a perfect sight. On this cold, frozen okay. night, the twinkle right of the lights. Come on inside and we'll do Christmas by the fire. We can go to far places, but there's one thing that's for sure. Wanna spend this time warm on a cold night? It's the perfect plan. I hope each year we'll find us right. Hollywood Studios is looking beautiful for Christmas, but one thing we have noticed is it's pretty much a sellout day today. Like they were staying in the queue, we were waiting in the queue to get in for quite some time. And basically someone was trying to park up there, but they had no availability in the park. They did let them in in the end, but they did say that they need to keep an eye out in the run up to Christmas because Hollywood Studios does get full. So just be aware to make sure if you are coming to book your Hollywood Studios days in Christmas in plenty of time. Anyway, we're going to head to Starbucks and I'm also going to look around here later tonight. One of my favourite things to do is as the park is closing, look Look at all the Christmas lights, so it looks beautiful now with all its Christmas decorations, but wait until later on. We'll have a look around together later on after Fantasmic and look at all the Christmas decorations. But first off, we are going to head to Starbucks. The holiday is here to greet you, and it's coming around to meet you. We'll let the holidays carry us away. Yeah, it'll carry us away. So, what do you say? It'll make all of our wishes come true. We'll take a winter stroll. Footsteps in the snow. I got my uh, salted caramel cream cold brew. I actually got a large this time. And oh, Dean, what did you get? Caramel ribbon crunch with extra shots of espresso because it's quite a big sugary drink. It's like your treat when you come here, isn't it? You love it. Anyway, we're just tucked away. It is very, very hot and very, very busy today. Very, very busy. But we're just going to enjoy our coffee. And then I think we're going to have a look in some shops, I think, because the wait times for everything are very, very high. So we're going to look at some shops look in the shop windows and look at all the Christmas displays. Let's go, shall we? They also did a little Mickey head on Dean's cream on his caramel ribbon crunch. How cute, you can't really see it, but it's really cute. All right, we're gonna head into, I think it's Mickey's of Hollywood. Let's see if they've got any cute merch inside here. Oh, look at these Star Wars ears. They're like uh, Princess Leia's swirls. They're kind of cool. Oh, this is a cute jumper. 
I love that. I love how oversized and slouchy it is. Does that have anything on the back? Oh yeah, it does. Oh, I really like that. And it's right next to the Christmas checkered lounge fly, which would be a cute combo. You could wear this for Christmas or you could wear this all year round because of the, the red and the white. Look at this giant bauble Christmas pillow we've seen. It's so cute. You could get that out every Christmas and put it on your sofas. So squishy. I've also got a little merchandise section here and I bought those ears yesterday at Magic Kingdom. They also have a red version of that white top but I think I prefer the white one. Look at these little mini dinky Christmas crocs with the little presents on the front. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute. They've also got these Christmas plushes this year with Mickey and Minnie and I think they're really pretty because I love the outfits but I also love the brown. I love the colours on them. Like this brown colour instead of the black. I don't know, I just think they look really pretty. Look at that. There's two of them, Mickey and Minnie, and they are $29 each. And there's also a lot of the new film Wish. There's a whole merchandise section over here with a little cameo. And I've seen a lot of the star, star pillow of Wish. There's also a huge Kermit the Frog section over here, look, lounge fly and everything. Truth be told though, oh Kermit the Frog, good <laughs> one. I actually really like green, green and pink combo, but truth be told I don't really like Muppets, do you? Although I do like the Christmas film. Has anyone ever seen the Muppets Christmas film? That used to be one of my favourite Christmas films. I haven't seen that one, yeah, I just used to look. Oh, is that all? I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> I've only really enjoyed Muppets on the Christmas, the Christmas one that they used to do. Uh, I used to watch it every single year as a kid. I found some Christmas Disney pins. We've got Mickey, we've got Minnie in the outfits that were the same as the plush toys. This must be the outfits for this year. And then I also like this little snowman. These are on the ears. Oh, they look like they're on the ears. And little, uh, yeah, little Christmas wreath. I'm a sucker for like mystery boxes. But look at this one, Kingdom of Q. Oh, and you can get all sorts of little kawaii. Oh, Space Mountain, a doll whip. It's all Magic Kingdom stuff. Oh, I kind of want it. But what actually is it though? Just a little, what is it? Oh, pins. Oh, really? Pins? That's kind of cute. Skies, they warm up everything And fall comes around And you know it's getting Me and Dean collect Christmas ornaments and we've just spotted this cute one I always have a tendency to go for these glass ornaments that are in like, you know, the glass surrounds But I love that it says 2023 on the back I don't know if you can see that But it actually has 2023 on the back of that I always have loads of these glass ones, so I don't know why I'm drawn to them so much. There's also this one. It's like a little picture frame. Christmas is my favourite time of year. Snowflakes falling from the a little Christmas ball. So cute, like get it out every year and put like pot. You could even have it as like a popcorn ball. Do you know what I mean? Put like candy canes and stuff inside. It's cute. We also really like this mug too, mug and coaster set. Is that how much that is? And then this mug and coaster set's really cute as well, twenty nine ninety nine. But I like it. Look, it's got a little. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a little stitch and stuff on it and some Disney characters. I love that tree skirt. We said we wanted a tree skirt, didn't we? Look at this, $79.99. Oh, they also have a Christmas tree topper. There's a lot of good Christmas merch this year, I feel like. And these stockings are his and hers. There's a lot of good stuff. And you can also get mystery box munchlings for it's a Christmas version. And don't forget about the cute Christmas munchlings. We've got Bear Max, we've got Doug, so cute. Partridges singing and rings made of gold. Snow angels may in the wintertime cold. House made of gingerbread. Mistletoe overhead. 
Made just for Christmas time Hanging the stockings and tying the bow Children are playing in the white satin snow The love for the season is the feeling inside It must be Christmas time We'll have a joyful, magnificent, fantastic Christmas time. A dazzling, tremendous, sensational Christmas time. Down by the fire on a starry night. Next Christmas morning, we'll make everything right. Champagne and sugar plums. Candy canes on the side. It must be Christmas time. to Rosie's All-American Cafe, right next to the Tower of Terror. I like that even in the cafes, they've got all the reefs up here. So let the bells jingle and the carolers sing. We'll hear old Chris Kringle on what presents he'll bring. Joy overflowing on a holiday so sublime. It must be Christmas. It must be Christmas. Yes, it must it be must Christmas time. Oh, it is a hot park day today. Like, really, really hot, isn't it, Dean? We tried to find somewhere in the shade, but even then, I'm dripping in sweat. It's actually probably the hottest day it's been, and it's the most crowded as well. I've been hearing a lot of people say that it is a sold out park day, so we were right, it's definitely sold out. Anyway, I got a beautiful looking salad actually with pulled pork and crispy bits on top. It's called the All American Salad. And Dean got a cheeseburger. I also got some ranch to go with it, and it looks absolutely delicious. And I think once we've had food, we'll either see Beauty and the Beast, which is right opposite us, or we will go on Tower of Terror. There was a 50 minute wait last time we checked. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully it's still 50 minutes because I enjoy the queue environment of Tower of Terror anyway. Very busy park day today. The last time we checked on the wait times, the, was it Millennium Falcon had went down to 90 minutes and the Rise of the Resistance was 115, but still considerably longer than what I'm used to. Also, Mickey's Runaway Railway was a 100 minute wait. So it's obviously a very, very popular park uh, at the Christmas season, because obviously I think it's one of the best decorated. I actually can't wait till sunset in the nighttime when it's cooled down a little bit and we can enjoy it a little bit more with a cool breeze because right now it's very very hot and being in the sun is just like almost unbearable so anyway we're going to tuck into the salad and then hopefully ride some rides this is full pop being radish and stuff oh we got quite a lot of full pop in it actually you know it's a hot day when Catherine gets her fun out normally we're fine aren't we but today is really really hot like this is why coming in the summer, it's like peak of summer, it's nice to come this time of year because normally it's cooler. But we definitely prefer the night times because it just cools down and makes the parts more enjoyable. But today, the midday sun is scorching. A lot better either very early in the morning or very late at night. But my hands out. All right, we had our little break and actually the sun is already starting to go behind the clouds which is so much nicer now anyway we took another look at the wait time and how long did you say it was to slinky dog 180 minutes what on earth anyway tower of terror is a 55 minute wait so we're just going to get in line and go on it let's go to the tower hotel Oh, I didn't even look at this uh, restaurant place here, the Fairfax Fair. They have Korean barbecue pork belly bowl in like a waffle basket. How good does that look? And also bacon macaroni and cheese. Anyway, let's go to the Tower of Terror. And here we've got some Christmassy snacks. So we've got a candy cane milkshake, chocolate cake donut on the top there with mint donut icing and candy cane sprinkles, $9. Look at that. Oh my goodness, before we get any further and we head on to the Tower of Terror, I did just want to say a huge thank you of the sponsor of today's Hollywood Studios Christmas vlog, Notion, for sponsoring this video. So, for those of you who don't know, I actually run a small business called Catnip. And one question I get a lot is how I manage to juggle travel, my personal channel, and my business goals all 
at once. And one way that I do that is through very strategic and heavy planning. And Notion has been in my life for the last few years and has helped me tremendously plan out and set my goals. And I'll show you how I kind of lay out my content calendar. All right, so this is my daily to-do list that I literally have on my screen at all times. This is how I use it every single day. If you look over here, I also have all my tabs. I'll have a weekly to-do list where I break down all my weekly tasks. Then I have a home to-do list, which I have managed to tick off. So if I have an idea on Tuesday that I need to do on like Saturday or Sunday, I will put it into here. And what I do is I just type in the list to do and move it over to doing, like I'm currently editing the Florida vlog. And next up is this. And then once I'm done, I put it in the done pile. And at the end of the day, I get to delete all these off. And it feels very, very satisfying. So that's my daily to-do list. But let me show you my content calendar. So to keep on track of my content, Content both on catnip and caffeine care so I can be consistent on both I have created myself a little content calendar so I will lay out all my vlogs and my plans for my vlogs throughout the months so as you can see here if we scroll down we have all of these vlogs that I have done and these have actually been all published now so I can tick them all off and this is all of the content that I have actually got planned for the next few months and that's the only way I'm able to really manage juggling both this channel and making sure I'm uploading weekly and catnip however catnip is my business and does take priority so sometimes the vlogs are pushed back later but I do try and schedule them so they are at least once a week so yeah thank you to Notion for sponsoring this video and trying to keep me on track with all this content anyway let's go ride Tower of Terror shall we you can get the doors actually open and close oh look at the window display just as you come outside how cool is this oh some spooky things and they're like this uh, cat lantern 
Oh, can't see. Sorry. Anyway, that was brilliant as per usual. Absolutely love that. Um, I will say that I enjoy the drops on that one. Because I rode Paris fairly recently, I, the Paris one actually made me feel really sick because it shot us up and down a lot. And I felt really motion sick. That one doesn't make you feel motion sick, but you do get a sense of, is it inertia? Is that the right word? I'm not actually sure. But you feel like you lift off your seat a lot more. Whereas the Paris one was like high velocity up and down. Either way, I absolutely love the Tower Hotel. If I had to pick between Japan, Orlando and Paris, I would say Japan's number one, my favorite, because I love the story, the theming, and I also like the room that you go in. If you haven't seen those vlogs, definitely check it out. That's our Disney Sea vlogs. And then I would say second is Orlando and third is Paris, only because it made me feel sick. Either way, they're all epic. Anyway, now that's enough with scary rides. Let's get back into the Christmassy magic. The sun is setting. I can't wait until all the lights turn off. And then also our family are coming to meet us. So we may be trying to ride uh, Rise of the Resistance tonight. So let's go and have another Christmassy time. I want to go around to that lake we want to watch Frozen uh, which is kind of like Christmas Eve almost and also see the big Christmas tree let's go shall we light the fire chill the wine Turn the lights down low All I want for Christmas is you Trim the tree, deck the halls Hang the mistletoe All I want for Christmas is you Yesterday, I was feeling so blue, now I'm happy here with you. Sit right down, hold so me just close. Like a snack, but it is closed today at the Dockside Diner. They have a Mickey's Holiday Brownie, but Looks like we're out of luck, it's only 4 49 too. I've just noticed as well that umbrellas are even decorated, look, with some snow and a little star on top and some baubles. <laughs> they're all like dotted around like that. Greetings, friends. Disney's Hollywood Studios welcomes you to, for the first time in forever. <laughs> the story of Anna and Elsa. We also cordially invite you to join us in the singing of any of our Arendelle anthems. Oh, excuse me, Queen Elsa. when you leave that show and it looks unreal. This is my favourite time of life. I can't wait to show you later what we're planning on doing if we manage to see Fantasmic because we are meeting up with my mum and we do want to do Rise of the Resistance even though there is a long wait time but we would love to just have a slow walk out at the end of the night and see all the lights which I'll show you a little bit later on. I also really want a Christmassy snack as well from somewhere. I don't know where. Just look at that. It looks so pretty. Sit right down, hold me close while we watch the snow. All I want for Christmas is you. Stay right here by my side, say you'll never go. All I want for Christmas is you. Christmas is you. All I want for Christmas 
is you. It looks like at this Hollywood and Vine, which is a character dining place, there's a mini holiday dine where you can celebrate the joy of the holidays with Minnie and her friends. I'm guessing they'll be in like little Christmas outfits, which would be cute. Truth be told, because we haven't got children, we haven't done a dining, like sit down character dining meal uh, before. I would like to do one. Oh, you can see, hang on. You can see um, Pluto in the window here. Look, there he is. He's right in there, he's got little antlers on. And on the walls it looks like they've got a little bit of Christmas decorations in there as well. We just met up with my mum and dad and now we're going to have a walk, uh, walk around and maybe go on Rise of Resistance. Well, it was a 110 minute wait and we can't buy individual lightning lanes either. So we'll see if they actually want to queue for that. Okay, we've got a plan. We're heading straight to Rise of Resistance. The wait time went down to 105, which is a lot better than it was earlier, but it's still quite a big wait time. So we are just going to get in the queue just come in to rise the resistance and we timed it perfectly because it's only a 75 minute wait time so we've been really lucky because currently the rock and roll coaster is at 95 minutes so hopefully we may have time to get into the queue for mickey's run over here in railway but we'll see but now it's time to ride the resistance
this person know? outside the wreck. We've just come out of Rise of the Resistance and we got ourselves, we managed to pass a stall that had the Christmas brownie and truth be told it looks a little sad in real life compared to compared to what it looks online but it smells delicious so I think we're actually going to head to Mickey's Runaway Railway and we're going to eat it there and I'll give you my verdict. Let's go shall we? It's got little uh, Christmas trees on, little, uh, it's got little like sugar strands in it, like little white balls of sugar. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know what makes it Christmassy, it's just a normal brownie. It's a nice brownie, but a little dry. But I thought there'd be like a peppermint flavour or something like that. And there isn't. We also got a churro. I think it's just a normal churro. It smells like cinnamon. I don't really know what makes it Christmassy apart from the sprinkles. <laughs> it doesn't really taste like anything but a brownie. Nothing is softly now. Everything is just reaching deep. Hi, Doobie! Well, you will be well picnicked. Yep, we're off to the park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hiya, folks. Wanna take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you lady. Who, me? Do you mind helping these good people in your cartoon or to fix this here locomotive? <laughs> I think we timed it perfectly because people were in the first show of Fantasmic and then watching the projection show and now we even have time to watch Fantasmic. Here we go, we're going to watch the second showing of Fantasmic.
as per usual. We got a slightly rubbish spot because we were right in front of the pole, so a lot of the centre bits we couldn't see what was happening because of this giant pole. Uh, there's two of them, so try and avoid them if you can, but we got guided there. Anyway, now we're going to have one last Christmassy look down Hollywood Studios and look at all the lights as we exit, which is one of my favourite things to do. Um, and see all the Christmas lights. So let's go look at all the Christmassy lights and say goodbye to Hollywood Studios for the night. Mr. Disney, can you still make a noise like Mickey Mouse? Well, yes, uh huh. But uh, of course, I don't make many Mickey uh, Mickey Mice films. <laughs> can you make that noise for us now? Well, uh, Mickey talks up like this, you know, kind of a falsetto. Of course, he's an old mouse now, and the falsetto. <laughs> Getting a little old. Yeah. Well, now, when you yeah. first <laughs> dreamed up these characters, did you think of them as simply as comic animals, or were you concerned with them as human personalities? I'd say human personalities uh, in the uh, body of a, a cartoon animal. In the, who goes to Disneyland? What is the ratio of adults to children? Oh, I mean, it's uh, four, four adults to one child. That is, uh, we're counting, though, the teenagers as adults. Of course, in the winter time, you go out there during the week and you don't see any children. You don't see any, all the oldsters out there riding all these rides and having fun and everything. our Christmassy time down Hollywood Studios. I will say it definitely is one of my favourite parts when it's all dressed up for the holidays. That grand tree behind us is so cool and I also really really love all the vintage ornaments and designs everywhere. It really feels like, like the 1940s to 1960s. I remember my mum and dad when they used to get like that coloured tinsel and it kind of gives me that vibe like on the ceiling and stuff. I don't know, I really love it. I also like multicoloured trees. I think it looks really pretty. I think it's more Christmassy than my Jackson Do you? Yeah, yeah. But it actually is actually. I do feel like it's the best. This is probably why the parks are pretty sold out for the next couple of weeks because it does definitely have a Christmassy vibe. I feel like more of the park is decorated as well, do you? Like there's more area of the park that feels decorated. So I hope you enjoyed having a Christmassy time. But this isn't the loss of the Christmas Disney vlogs. In fact, we have so many more Disney vlogs to go. So if you enjoy this type of content, definitely stick around. Oh, I love so much more to Goodbye. Goodbye. It must be Christmas. It must be Christmas. Yes, it must, it must be, be Christmas. Be Christmas.